Um, I am going to be one of the student nurses talking to you, the client. Um, so this is your situation. You are a 64-year-old male, and you have a history of hypertension. Uh, you enjoy drinking a glass of grapefruit juice every morning with breakfast. And you have just returned from a visit with your family nurse practitioner and were prescribed a new medication called amlodipine. Um, Caitlin, Janelle, and I just want to do some teaching with you about this new medication. Um, the following are some learning objectives that we would like you to know by the end of the teaching time. Um, so you, the client, will be able to name one food to avoid um, potential interactions with amlodipine by the end of the teaching time. Uh, you, the client, will know three signs and symptoms of hypotension by the end of the teaching time. You will uh, be able to identify four of the most common side effects of amlodipine by the end of the teaching time. And lastly, in your own words, you will be able to describe um, uh, what condition this medication is being treated. And so if you would like to take notes during this teaching time, feel free to do so. At the end of the presentation, we will go back to these learning objectives. Okay, so amlodipine is a drug class of antihypertensive. Um, this means it's used to treat high blood pressure, and it's also known as a cal calcium channel blocker. Um, amlodipine is the generic name for this medication, it may also be referred to as Norbast, which is its trade name. Um, it's used with, by itself or with other medications to treat hypertension, and it's also used to treat angina pectoris or basospastic pectoris. So briefly, I would like to explain to you um, what hypertension is, since that's the condition that you have. Hypertension is also known as high blood pressure. So blood pressure is the amount of force um, no, sorry. Blood pressure is measured by the amount of blood your heart pumps and the amount of resistance there are through your arteries, um, your blood vessels. So if your blood, is, if your heart is pumping a lot of blood, um, then and the amount of resistance in your blood vessels, your arteries, um, is high, then this can cause your blood pressure to be high as well. So hypertension um, is a condition with the force of pressure of blood against your artery walls, and it can be so great that this puts you at risk for things like myocardial infarctions or stroke. Um, and lodipine is um, a medication that stops the calcium from being transported to the heart and other vascular muscles such as your blood vessels. And without calcium going to the heart and the blood vessels, um, the muscles are not able to contract quite as well and this leads to the heart not pumping out as much blood, and it allows the blood vessels to stay open just a little bit more than they normally would. Um, this aids in reducing the blood pressure. Um, with amlodipine, there are some side effects like with most medications. So four of the most common side effects you should know about are headache, dizziness, fatigue, and bradycardia, which is um, a slow heartbeat. And some possible adverse effects of this medicine are extremity swelling and swelling of the face. And Caitlin is gonna to talk to you about um, how to administer this drug and then to how to manage some of those side effects and um, which side effects are important to talk to your doctor about. Hi, my name is Caitlin and I will be, like Jamie said, I'm gonna be talking to you about managing your side effects, which side effects you should notify your doctor or healthcare provider about and um, just general things you should know about administering this um, amlodipine. So, um, like she said, some common um, side effects are headache, dizziness, fatigue, and slow heart rate, and then also um, swelling of, you know, your hands and feet. And so, <clears throat> know that you can pace yourself. It's okay to do a little bit at a time and rest because that is what is going to be best for when you get tired. Um, also, when you are resting, when you're sitting, um, you can raise your feet to help with swelling so they don't swell as much. Um, and you can talk to your doctor about if the swelling gets really bad about what you can, compression socks or whatever he thinks is best for that. Um, and you can also talk to your doctor if you have 
really bad headaches about um, getting pain medication, um, such as ibuprofen or a Tylenol or whatever um, he thinks is best. And it's also good for when you get dizzy to avoid um, doing activities that require a lot of alertness, like driving and um, other things that we'll talk about a little bit later. So, um, side effects to talk to your doctor about um, are would be irregular heartbeats and if you have difficulty breathing, um, if you have a lot of swelling in your or any swelling in your hands and feet, you should contact your doctor about that. And also dizziness, nausea, constipation, um, hypotension, which is low blood pressure, and um, severe headaches that just won't go away. And it's also, when you're on this medication, it's good to take your um, pulse. And so if you take your pulse and you find that it's below 50 beats per minute, it's also, you should also contact your um, healthcare provider about that as well. So it's important to take amlodipine as directed, even if you are feeling good. Um, when you miss a dose, it's important to try to take it as soon as possible, but don't double dose. Um, and you should notify your healthcare provider about all the medications that you're taking, whether they are over the counter or prescribed or herbal supplements um, or vitamins, because all of them can have adverse, can have interactions with each other. And you should also notify um, your healthcare provider before starting any new medications, especially cold medications. So it's something that you don't often think about, but it is important to do that. Um, so one another side effect that amlodipine can have is making your sun or your your skin sensitive to the sun. So wearing protective clothing and using sunscreen when you're going to be out in the sun a long time will help you not get sunburned. And like I said before, it can cause dizziness or drowsiness, and so it's important not to drive or do any other activities that require a lot of alertness before um, you know, before you and your doctor know uh, the effect that the amlodipine will have on you and before um, he gives you the okay to do that. And also maintaining good dental hygiene and seeing your dentist frequently for cleanings will um, prevent tenderness and bleeding and enlargement of the gums. So, and um, one last thing is um, when you are changing positions, like when you're laying down or when you're sitting, you don't want to get up real fast because um, that can create something called orthostatic hypotension. So that basically means that um, when you like when you stand up real fast, the blood kind of um, you don't get enough blood flow to your to your brain pretty much, and so um, you can get lightheadedness, um, you can get dizzy, you can fall down and hurt yourself basically. So just be sure to change positions uh, slowly. So and now Janelle is going to come in and talk to you about interactions that amlodipine can have. And I just want to point this out here too real quick because it was one of our objectives, but keeping in mind low blood pressure symptoms. But anyway, my name is Janelle, and what I've got for you all is mostly about um, the potential drug interactions of amlodipine. So just some background, um, medications can interact in the body metabolism is 
reach the blood stream.